A city in New Jersey is saying enough is enough when it comes to illegal street vendors. Starting this Saturday, Passaic will begin cracking down on vendors along Main Avenue who don't have the proper permits. Now, the city eased up on enforcement during the pandemic, but now store owners are starting to complain, saying it's not fair to those who do things the right way. Here's New Jersey reporter Tony Yates. Illegal vendors in the heart of the shopping district in Passaic have apparently taken brazen to a new level. So they're selling tacos in front of the taco store. They're selling fruit in front of the produce store. Legal outdoor and food truck vendors, you know, the ones who have permits, are facing stiff competition. They give us like more challenges and like you just walk around like we don't feel as much as we used to because of them. Not wanting to hurt his business, he doesn't want his face shown, but the sidewalks in the areas of Madison and Main Avenue, Monroe Street and Lexington are often crowded with people who pitch their tents and tables and sell, and that can be a major problem too for customers. The food could be tainted, people could get sick, there could be food poisoning, and there's no way to really hold them accountable. And there is a lot of flies and stuff outside because of like the food. For the past year, police and health department officers have been cracking down fining illegal vendors, but on June 1st, punishment hits a new level. We're going to tow your vehicle if it's a food truck or confiscate uh, your hand truck. We're going to dump out your material, especially if it's food because it hasn't been inspected. I don't want to harm anyone. I understand that they are trying to make money and support their families and pay their bills, but it's very easy. Very easy, says Mayor Laura. You come to City Hall, you bring your ID, something else with your address on it, you pay a fee, and you're in. Otherwise, without the permit, your vending days here are over. In Passaic, Tony Yates, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.